finals. This is the third time that these two are going to be playing each other, and I believe we are about to get straight into Grands. So I'm going to spit my mint away because I feel really disrespectful. Run it back, my King Atelier. 0-0 zero, zero starting off blank slate, and let's get back into this game. Zamba has obviously played Atelier two times, and they've both been very close games. Uh, yeah, the first one was, like, unbelievably close. Exactly. Both of those sets were super nail-biting, so I want to see if uh, Atelier can maybe finally find the clutchness and pull through. And it's hilarious, or not hilarious, it's amazing that he made it this far up through the gyro into back air with like, the hotness. We've said this time and time about Atelier, like, um, how, you know, he had so many people kind of... Uh, he won over so many people oh, earlier yeah, in like 2020-ish 20, 20 um, when he won that uh, Kagaribi 3. He didn't win. He got, no, he got second, second place. Sorry, he lost to Zachary, was it? No, he lost to T, I believe. T, yeah. Uh, he beat Zachary. He, Did beat, he beat Zachary. Zachary? He yeah, doubly yeah, yeah. eliminated Zachary, if yeah. I believe. Oh, no. And Wait, no. Match against so many fans. The team Liquid sponsorship. And at uh, one point, it also seemed like he was kind of uh, in a bit of a slump. Oh, my Ooh, God. Just pointed that. through. And oh, um, no! this tournament for him, it really well and truly seems like he's back at the moment. But yeah, there's is no Zomba a there's little no game sound. too much? There is no game sound, I just realized. Oh, hello. We're back. we back. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. All right, all right. So Zomba now with 118% has the lead, though, but gets back to ledge. Oh, my gosh. You, like, the really threatening part about... Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh, my gosh. I was really scared. I thought something was going to connect into that. Down tilt. Gets the down throw grab. Up tilt. I feel like um, when it comes to this particular matchup here, um, PT is one of those characters that doesn't really need to worry about um, Zombas, like, Rob's weight to that extent. Because oh, he most waited. of PT's, like, kill setups and moves are, like, just absurdly strong anyway, and they kill it Zomb bear, Talk early. about Atelier Bear, my guy. Oh, my Pulls God. through. With the back air from Charizard, we know how much of a good kill option that is, but up air manages to close out the first stock for Zamba. Yeah, Zamba looking really good at the moment. Almost uh, two stocks for the price of one hit. Atelia needing to do a bit of catch up. The Squirtle really putting in a lot of damage and that advantage state now out of shield. 63 Just keeps swatting him off stage. And Rob's recovery is obviously going to be able to get him out of any trouble there in that sense. Couple forward airs, Gyro missing. Almost lapping him in percent right now, and it's looking a little scary for us Atelier fans. <laughs> I'm kind of manifesting our spirit on Where, the mic right the now. Where's the Zomba fans? Oh, okay, what? okay, yeah, there's you, say, fans. you keep saying us. There's what? some Zomba fans in the yeah. show, <laughs> I guess. Okay, yeah. I guess, I mean. Uh, yeah, Zomba going a full stock ahead. He's maintaining his lead here uh, in a bit of disadvantage, but manages to get back onto the stage. Only gets uh, gets hit by a back air yet again, but it's only the sour spot. Not looking too bad right now, but if Atelier manages to catch him with maybe like an up smash out of shield, some, uh, something like that, especially with the rage. Looking really good. He was thinking the exact same way. Zomba finding greedy. a down air up to up air. That will probably be enough. And the DI mix up as well. Rough, rough start for Atelier and Zomba taking game one in convincing fashion. Exactly, obviously. Um, <laughs> Why are you so A little depressed? bit unfortunate um, <laughs> for us Atelier fans. Stop <laughs> saying us! You're right, you're right, sorry. Me, myself, and Atelier fan, a little bit unfortunate for me, but I mean, Zamba though, showing the perfect sort of like cold-bloodedness, you know, ruthlessness of uh, top echelon. He's really, so even mean. of the top players, <laughs> he's one of the best top players. So the fact that Atelier can even bring the heat a little bit is what is very, very interesting. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd like to say that we really do have a game in front of us, uh, considering the last couple encounters that these two had, Atelier being an extreme character specialist. Um, so far, game looking fairly even. A little scary at the ledge there, but it's, it's scary for both players whenever either of them are at the ledge. So when both of them are kind of playing to the side there, you don't know what's going to happen. Exactly, 50 to 59%. Oh, great stuff. Manages to catch him air dodging onto the ledge with an air. And it's own, and it's even. Straight even. But oh my no, god! Is that going to kill? Not yet. That was really close. Oh Somba actually, it was really smart. He actually brought him up. Uh, I think he like double jumped just before he input the up air, which is why he kind of like managed to drag him up uh, uh, as 
the multi-hit happened. Oh my god, he just threw that side B out and it worked out. Zomba yet again with a convincing lead coming into this game too. Looking really good. The drag down up air. Not too much off of it. Exactly. Obviously going through on winner's side as well. Showcase sort of... It was a really close... Oh! Back air not gonna kill. 113% on Zomba. He's been so good at getting back to ledge, but up B? 137%. Yeah, not gonna do it. Oh, I tried to parry the Nair, but good job from Zamba. Managed to. Never mind. Zamba, get up smashed. <laughs> yeah, we walking, baby. Why? Yeah, we walking. <laughs> yeah, Atelier getting right walk. back in it. Thug walk on him. <laughs> with the thug walk from Atelier standing there, looking oh, yeah, we, pretty yeah, comfortable yeah, with the jump. environment and the situation here. All right. Both of them having a little uh, break time. Yeah. Someone with a couple down tilts, probably gonna find a back throw here. Oh, good Forces stop. out the air dodge. This might be oh, it. Try to look for the first stool. Wait, did he just do side B to recover? <gasps> no, not the Zombear, bro. The fraud. <laughs> oh, my the... God. You Anyways, chill, with the chill out with the glazing. Sorry. Atelier t uh, losing his second stock. Zomba didn't really take it. I mean, he just kind of... Atelier kind of all right, all right, all right, all right. Zomba, Zomba looking very good <laughs> in this particular game too here. We kind of have a similar uh, situation with Zomba going practically over a full stock here. Atelier needing to do a massive amount of catch-up at the moment. Exactly. Zomba just doing a great job getting back to stage. Doesn't want to rush anything. Shows that hot player patience that he has. Oh. Hopping over these projectiles. He has the gyro in his hand. He could do a lot here. Right. Ah, Ooh. tried to find the landing up. I love the idea, but Zomba just uh, flew a little too far away. And now Atelier is going to get down thrown, but manages to mash out in time. I don't think Atelier really has the quickest of mashes when it comes to uh, Zomba's down throw. So I see how he keeps going for these like up tilts, uh, mid percent range, and he kind of trusts in the fact that Atelier won't mash out too quickly. Exactly. Oh, great this is stuff rough. from Zomba though. Nairs through the gyro, but manages to come back. Flare Blitz losing to the neutral B. This is, this is oh, really, no. really rough. He's so, I mean, this might be clutch time. Zomba's here to ruin my dreams. <laughs> Nair. Oh my God, the landing. What, 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 he nared off stage and still managed to get the kill off the side. Zomba, uh, he, he looked at me from across the room though. I don't, hey. Looking as confident as ever here. One game away from securing Cafeteria Cup. I think um, with the array of upsets, the vast array of upsets that we've seen amidst this final bracket, Zomba is the only one that's managed to stay true and consistent to himself, uh, especially when it comes to the seeding. And like, I feel like this whole day, except for that one first game against Atelier, he really hasn't been tested to like his full extent. Like Atelier is definitely packing punches here, but like, Ever since the first day where they played together, Zomba looks so much more comfortable. Exactly. I mean, really showcased that he's not here to play around. He's here to win this tournament. Such a stacked invitational at the start of the season as well. You're going to want to do that. We got FD. FD coming out. Interesting. Um, okay, they were both trying to go trips. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So bad. <laughs> Down throw into back air, coming out from Atelier. What's he gonna do with the ledge? Zamba, oh my god, so threatening every single time he comes back. Even though I'm not the uh, the Atelier Glazer like my co-commentator <laughs> is here, I would like to see Atelier maybe take a game, trouble Zamba in any sense, and uh, maybe a hint of adaptation might be on the road here, try to look for a jab lock. Exactly. Kind of stuffing it out with hitboxes here. Atelier actually playing really well. Exactly, kind of playing on point right oh, now. God, that was close. Right, what gonna hang. Oh, oh no! God. Bro, what? Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Dude, come on, really? Oh, Bro, 21! Oh, oh my god, Uma. Great stuff. <laughs> Great stuff coming out from Zomba manages to connect all those dots together and lead into a kill, but finds a dash oh, tag, wow. reacts to the air dodge with the laser. Not too much damage off of it though was maybe looking a little scary at the ledge perhaps, but Zomba still being able to rack up that damage. We are at FD at the wall. Atelier just doesn't really have too much space to land whenever he gets knocked up in the air. Atelier, on the other hand, really struggling to find this kill. Maybe something at the ledge here with the gyro in hand, maintaining that edge guard, but yeah, and the Razor Leaf yet again doing it, but not too much that um, Atelier can use to kill, but the dash, dash attack. attack. What? Uh? <laughs> Gonna be killing 
Zamba was at high percent, but I've never seen that kill ever. Wow. But signs of life here from Atelier. Definitely needed that stock, and now we're into 50%. Whoa, Almost whoa, whoa, sent whoa, 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 whoa. him <laughs> to the Shadow Realm with that one. He went zooming away. Oh, Nair, Atelier, up wait, up B. B. Obviously, uh, too close for it to be the sweet spot, which is why Zamba is still alive, but he's looking fantastic right now. The back air, not sweet spotting. Atelier's momentum right now has forced Zomba to SD. What did the... Oh my god, it, this might be Atelier at the, the beginning of something special here. That's all I'm saying right now. Zomba going Zachary with those down tilts. Exactly. Oh, the tank! The cancel! <laughs> this guy is so good. Goes for the double there into the forward air. Quick 38%, damage. yeah. Definitely gonna take Back that. Back air, can't oh. find the second one. Zomba DIing out correctly. Can't read the tech chase. And now we got more back airs. Razor Leaf turning with the jump. Oh my god, Zomba just DIing away from that up B. That could have been ropes. Uh, this. Ah, oh, but. Gonna kill, yeah. yeah. Okay, actually, just re the no mash. And Zomba behind, actually, in this last stock situation. If he manages to clutch it up, he has won Cafeteria Cup. If he doesn't, we might be on the hint of a reverse three, right? Exactly. Reverse Who three, knows? Right? Coming in, we've had so many good sets. This could be signs that there's another one. Double parry, goes for the dash tag, yeah. and Zomba with the aggressive option coming back from ledge. You can't let Zomba get the momentum here. Once he gets one hit, it's so scary. Exactly, had the gyro there. I thought I was gonna see something scary landing there. This one. He's burnt. Oh, okay, he's got his air dodge back, but it's still rough. Avoids the gyro, gets hit by the south spot of the, south spot of the down air. Ah, no! And Zomba takes it with the absolute classic. Uh, well, you already know what it is, Zomba, with the quick appeal towards the camera uh, <laughs> that's off screen. Um, wow, an absolutely dominant display. I can't even lie, Zomba, absolutely sweeping the competition here at Cafeteria Cup. He's, he's destroyed your goat, mate. I can't lie. He's actually, he's actually just killed I'm going him. on a date with him tomorrow, man. <laughs> and. You gotta say congratulations to Atelier on the main house. Like second place, considering yeah, yeah, all yeah. the. Um, yeah, sure, that sounds good. Um, considering the competition that he had, three owing Gluto, and then beating, I believe it was Kinaji to be able to find an uh, invitation to winners finals, and it was only the man, Zomba, being able to stop him in the end, getting double eliminated by him. And we have your champion who is yeah, about to have a conversation yeah, with the head TO. So yeah, we're, 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 we'll get into it. Hang on a second. <laughs> what an exciting rant. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, there are two things in life that are pretty common. One, waking up with bad breath, because, you know, you got to brush your teeth in the morning. Two, yeah. the zombie bear, baby. God damn oh right. Oh, my God. God damn right. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, damn. We all expected this. I mean, me winning is not really that big of a surprise. Yeah, I mean, you were second seed, but it's like, But like, low-key, mid-key, like, yeah, we don't, we don't know. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, you were pretty, pretty confident. Sorry, I'm messing up here. It's okay. I, yeah. I would be nervous, too, if you're in the presence of a god. Yeah, so basically this guy's been sleeping at my house homeless for like the past like five days. Yep. And he's acting like a god, but you know what? He won. Fair enough to him, you know? I mean, what were you... Okay, before going into Cafeteria Cup, like what were you thinking were like the greatest threats coming into the bracket? Like did you expect Atelier in Grants? Well, I mean, I prepare for everybody because, you know, as a top player, you need to... This guy's <laughs> so guys lying, bro. <laughs> this guy's like, oh my god. Bro. You could probably find him like... Practically homeless on the streets of Kamakura before this bracket. <laughs> it's like, but no, my actual. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, we never right. expected Atelier to make it that far, but that's why it was so phenomenal when he destroyed, dude. Like he three owed Gluto. I didn't get to Oh my Gluto. god! Yeah, Gluto exactly. You won this without like. Did nobody expect like Gluto getting ninth? First of all, horrible bracket for him. I'm sorry, all my fault. You know, yeah, Cedar rigged. Tio, I've rigged. You know, basically, evilest man alive. But bro, like. Oh, that's such an unfortunate bracket for Gluto, man. Just like running into Atelier when he's just he's playing so Wait, hot. And when Atelier is playing hot, it's insane. And then especially because he was in the losers bracket with um, first round, um, he had to fight Ashimo, and then that's like you know Ashimo, undisputed top 15 player in the world, and uh, 
I mean, it was game five. It was really close, but unable to close that one out. And yep. unfortunately, like, he went home with no bad losses. But, you know. Everybody here's a phenomenal player. So sometime, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And, yeah. Yeah, just for invitationals me? are the worst bracket for me. I just hate invitationals, bro. Yeah, I think I, yeah. I, think I, think I like that. Yeah, never do this again, bro. What the hell? This yeah, sucks. It's pretty uh, not it, fair if I win. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, very unfortunate bracket for some. Especially, like, there were a lot of, like, uh, in-region conflicts just because of, uh, I mean, like, you know, when upsets happen, brackets get randomized, and unfortunately, we had a lot of repeat sets, but every single one of them were so good. Oh, my God, bro. I'm going to rewatch like, the entire VOD, practically, like, over the rest of my life. Yeah. I'm watching, like, now Takara, straight up, <laughs> geeking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on my deathbed. Honey. Play Nacho to care on the screen. <laughs> like, Game five, up smash. No! Ah, ah! Bro, yeah. Nacho beating Atelier too? That Dude, yeah! <laughs> bro, this Atelier has four losses. Three to Zamba and one to Nacho today. Yeah, I, I mean, no. So. Uh, yeah, no. Atelier has three Zamba losses and one to Nacho. Oh, my God, bro. Nacho, like, that's a good win for him now, bro. I'm so glad Atelier is playing PT again. I'm I've so always, glad, too. I've oh always God. had the thought. Wolf no, sucks. I've said it. Not just a thought. This has been spoken like <laughs> on record? Bible. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and I was like, scriptures. I feel like obviously Atelier is a phenomenal player, but I just feel like his PT was a little better. Yeah. And I'm glad. I he mean, you three would him. Well, I, yeah. it was three two, three one, three zero. Oh. Yeah, the adaptation king right here. Oh my god. What can I say? Next one, four zero, bro. It's not even close. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just really. I guess I time my back airs really well at ledge. Mm. Really good at positioning the gyro and. Yeah, the I saw spots. that. I saw that one. Yeah. I mean, hey, Down props to you. Until. You earned it. And for your hard efforts, traveling all the way to Japan, spending so much money on plane tickets, yeah, into two-day gauntlet, you get to have this cafeteria cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean. I can't wait to drink a lot of chocolate milk in this cup. Yeah, but it, I bet you're gonna send me a picture later where it's like in pieces shattered <laughs> at the airport. I wouldn't. Like, I oops, guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> maybe if you made it, but not if Lemonade made it. That's this true. Is that's true. You gotta respect it. Talented work. Yeah, shout out to Lemonade, by the way. Another one of the TOs for Cafeteria Cup. Wouldn't have been able to do it without her. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, uh, no, whoa, mine, whoa! Though. Yeah, not to my knowledge. But anyways, yeah, so glad we were able to make this work. You know, uh, it was very hard to get this to happen, especially after the incidents in October. I'm not naming, but I was borderline about to jump off something. And then like... Like a bed? Yeah, I jumped it on a bed. Like, yeah, I'm a monkey jumping on a bed. Yeah, exactly. I was so happy in October. But anyways, yeah, I was like, damn, bro. But uh, anyways, able to pull through. And uh, I'm so glad we did. What a hype invitational. One for the ages, one for the books. If the next Smash game comes out, it's going to be like, it's like, you know when people just like be glazing Civil War so much, like, bro, back in Smash 4, Civil War was like oh, the best Smash tournament. Be about cafeteria God damn right, bro. Cafeteria Cup. Remember when Atelier was like <laughs> goaded and he like 3 0'd Gluto? I mean, damn. What a roller coaster, though. I think that's going to be probably the last words no. uh, from us. Why? No. What do you have to say? Uh, yeah, how the event came up, me doing everything. Uh, so, like, uh, I remember, yeah, get your bitch ass off the show. Oh, okay. uh, Thank you for Zamba. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah, thanks. But I guess, congrats. Yeah, you you okay. forgot your cup. You forgot his drink. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, forgot his cup. Oh, God damn it. Um, I remember about four months ago when uh, you, half drunk, kind of came up to this idea where uh, you kind of just straight up told me out of nothing, like, what if. I invite a bunch of top players coming to my house, like who are going to go to like Umeburo or something like that, and then it was uh, originally um, Kagaribi back in uh, when Jazz. Yeah, was you're right. And then we said it was too Bro, the, late to do. Oh that. my god, the original roster is so funny. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't want to say because like then people feel bad because I didn't invite them to this one probably. But um, but. I remember when like we first started talking about like the dimensions uh, of the room and what to put where, which Kelvin helped uh, yeah, with a lot us of Kelvin. you. Let's go. Um, and then we talked about who we'd invite. We talked to Watch. 
obviously watch coming all the way to Kamakura with all yeah, this. Yeah, oh my set. god. Shout out especially to watch. Couldn't have happened without him. Yeah, well, as with any other Japanese event, we have to give like so much thanks to him. Yeah. Um, obviously, thanks to all the other commentators who came here. And then, like, the players that we managed to get, like, every single person who um, managed to, like, Bring themselves all the way over here on a working day as well because some of yeah, these people oh my are God. working and, people like especially jogi boo bro my yeah. go i'm so sorry that he did bad in this bracket but like he made it such an effort to come here because he had a work trip and had he to came here specifically yeah, he for... came here for this event specifically yeah. like umabura got canceled for him because he had a work trip during those days and it's like rerouting the ticket straight to kamakura baby yeah. i was like damn bro you so, goat the fact that you've managed to put all this investment into not not just like monetary investment just straight up time it's because it's taken like so much of your time to be able to get this project done. At one point, we literally thought it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. And um, now here we are. We're actually wrapping it up after wrong. a completely successful Crazy. event. Crazy. Yeah, it's insane what that the... nothing. I literally is so like easy, Windows bro. round one. For some reason, I just expected like the solar e setup to just like, like come start down sparking. spontaneously. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Luto's like playing his game, like the yeah. monitor just blows up in his face. Luto steals like, all the silverware from my kitchen for some reason. <laughs> just leaves. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> the solary guys just turn up without Glutony. <laughs> yeah, like, right, guys, we're right to stream. Yep. Let's like, Gluto. Right. Uh, <laughs> I think he's still sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah shout outs to Gluto for coming on. Every foot. single player uh, turned up. Everyone showed up. All the staff showed up. Um, all the none of your possessions have been stolen <laughs> according yeah, to my knowledge I don't know where my glasses thank are, you bro. to your parents for letting us use this house this is a completely like yeah, shout out rough sketch dad. project that somehow managed to come into fruition and we've done so i am so so proud of you and myself you. i'm not i'm not origin of what cafeteria cup is oh <laughs> yeah so basically back when i was 15 years old when I was first getting into Smash Bros, uh, COVID hit, right? And then there was like nothing to do. So um, I set up an online Smash Bros tournament series called Cafeteria Cup uh, with my high school. I think peak entrance was like 24 people and I got second place and I'm garbage by the way. So uh, by the way, I should have won against that guy. I was throwing. If I ever meet that guy again, oh my God, get that run back. <sighs> Ditto uh, from Washington. Bro plays Luigi, Min Min, Carry, most carry player alive. Like, he probably don't even remember who I am, but like, I think he still plays Smash. I looked up his PG stats one day, like a year ago, and I was like, this We're going guy. off on a tangent. We're going yeah, off so on a tangent. I'm hating. I'm hating. Yeah. He's a nice guy, though. Yeah. But, anyways, yeah, I set that up. We had eight series of it. And then, like, you know, it was just like me and then Kanye Beast, the guy that was uh, commentating Kanaji. And then, uh, you know, that ended after a year, and then I was wondering, like, huh. I really did enjoy the TOing, like it was it was very fun and such a joy to watch like, you know, the community be able to pull through and come together. But uh, I think we're having a Tellier interview now. So yeah, we're, we're just going to wrap up with I'll a hop off. interview. Because Thank I don't you think everyone for coming. Oh my God, every single one of you. Like even like Naucha for like coming to the Invitational, being able to get time off work. Like the thing that's hard about running Cafeteria Cup is that Japanese top players have a life, so like they have to like quit their job or like like no shade, but like American top players don't have jobs, okay? <laughs> like and, like it, they can come on a Thursday, but these people like oh, please, bro, please quit on work and like call it sick, bro. Like I'm begging you, but like these guys, oh my God, goats. Anyways, yeah, a uh, little bit of a stray there for the U.S. players. All of U.S. <laughs> yeah. You have a job? Yeah. Going like the lo locals? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Loki probably pays more than me. I get paid pennies. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to be having an Atelier interview with such a great run, man. And I'm, I'm so happy that he came. Uh, thank you so much. A big thank you to Rotten Lunch for punching me in the face almost. And also for running this incredible event. I am so, so grateful. We're about to get into an Atelier interview. And um, chat, if you have some questions for Atelier, please. I'll like go ahead and ask them. Um, I'm very interested because I've never e properly had the opportunity to sit down. Obviously, I'm kind of good at speaking Japanese half the time, but I'll translate the questions afterwards anyway. All right. Uh, I want to go to Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, じゃあまず準優勝おめでとうございます。
いやもうまず簡単に感想を聞きたいのですが、はい、いやーグランドファイナルまで良かったんですけどねグランドファイナル結構ロボット戦自身やったんですけど、はい、しっかり負けちゃったんで、うん、<笑>また考えないといけないなと思います、はいうん、So he said Well, obviously, thank you because I congratulated him.、Uh, <laughs> but then he said, like, in terms of his gameplay, everything was going completely well into,、uh, until winners' finals. And、uh, he kind of just straight up lost. So he really needs to think about the Rob matchup, which, humble, humble is what I got to say.、Um, so, yeah, I think that I was a little bit of a full set. I was a little bit of a set. And then, I was a little bit of a full set. でグランドファイナルが 3-0 っていう感じで、なんか内容的に何か変わってしまったみたいな。なんでしょうね。結構攻めうまかったんで、なんかそのそれに対してどうかんどうしようって考えてたら、なんか気づいたら終わってましたね。そのなんていうの間に合わなかったって言ったあれですけど、ちょっとなんかその攻められきっちゃったなっていう。はいはいはいはい。Okay, so yeah, I, I asked him about like what kind of、uh, not necessarily went wrong, but yesterday when they played in pools, it was a 3 2, it was very close, and this time around it was a lot easier for Zomba to win. And he thinks like Zomba was playing a lot more aggressively in general, but it kind of he said the right word isn't like I couldn't adapt in time or anything like that, but he says that he couldn't figure out Zomba in time basically.、Um, じゃあちょっとチャットから質問も何個かあるのでじゃあ今のところこうポケトレとウルフのバランスはなんかそ,それに関しての考え方とかどう,どうでした<笑>なんかね結構大会中にキャラ切り替えるのがうまくないなって気づいたんで自分でだからこの期間はポケトレターンにするし、はい、この期間はウルフターンにするみたいな感じで。今は使ってて、今ちょうどポケトレタンの時期やったんで、はい、今日も一回も、昨日今日か、一回もウルフ出さずに。ですよね。なんかあのー、この前の、うん、あのうちが主催したあのシビアビーの、はい、なんかフリー戦の間、はいはいはい、あれほぼウルフ出してましたよね。そうそうそうそうそう。はい。そうなんですよ。なんでそのその日で切り替えるっていうのがあんま自分うまくないなって思ったんで。はいはいはいはい。うん、今日はポケトレ、この大会はポケトレ。So that's really interesting actually. For Atelier, he、um, likes to、um, kind of not really switch between characters too often, and that isn't just between sets. It literally, for him, he'll wake up and it'll be like today's like a Pokemon trainer day, or today's a wolf day. Today, he just happened to、um, feel like playing Pokemon trainer for the whole tournament. And look how far he's come、uh, second place, which is an incredible、uh, feat. So, yeah, uh, じゃあ,まあ最後の質問として、まあ、今後の大会の予定とか少し聞きたいですね。はいはいえー、と明日から大阪行って、今週末スマバとクールもあるんで、はい、それ出て、まあ、今後は未定ですかね、それ以降は未定です、はいうん。それ頑張って、今後どうしようかなって考えようかなと思ってます。はい、えあと、ついでに、はい、あのまあ、なんか、海外のファン、まあ、もちろん,なんかあの海外からの視聴者がたくさんいますし、はい、あのなんか一言、最後に伝えたいこととかあるなら。<笑> Thank you. Thank you. <笑> okay. <笑> uh, yeah, so、uh, in terms of like his future、um, plans for tournaments, he said that he is going to Kulon Sumabato, which is going to happen this weekend. He leaves tomorrow for it. And、then afterwards, he doesn't have any plans, but he's, he's sure that he'll enter events in the future. And. Ah, ma, so that's it. Kaigai no taikai no yote to ka arimaska. Iku yote nai is your name. Genesis to ka arimaska. Ah, I must say, make your day nai is. Ah, so yeah, for the moment, he doesn't really have any plans on going abroad. But to his international fans, I asked、uh, if he has any words for them. Thank you. <laughs> Which I don't really need to、uh, translate that part. So,、uh, thank you so much,、uh, Atelier. Congratulations on second place. You really outdid yourself. Thank you. 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 Thank 
Okay, and wow. Um, Isaac, do you want to come on for one more time or? Okay, yeah, Isaac is doing something right now. Sorry, that was Ron Lunch, that's a T.O. Um, wow, what a tournament we've had. I can't believe that um, Ron Lunch and everyone else who helped staff this event, who helped play this event, have managed to kind of make this all a thing. I'm immensely proud of everyone. Um, yeah, not too many words like I can really think of right now because it's it's been like a unbelievably overwhelming uh, past week. Obviously, after Mabura, uh we still had to like keep ourselves busy with organizing this whole event. Um, Isaac, Ron Lunch being very uh, kind towards us to be able to, yeah, uh, being able to uh, lend us his house for this event and also get all this equipment together, watch bringing his equipment uh, for the stream. The Solary guys who did the exact same thing. Thank you to them. And yeah, every single person that gave us their like monitors and switches. <laughs> yeah, because that, that was also something that uh, took quite a while. Shout out Oscar. Thank you, because he gave us like quite a few. He gave us like two monitors and switch. Yeah, Lemonace as well, from uh, who flew out from Indonesia. Not specifically for this event, I believe, but like uh, he, she was, yeah. But she was also a very big part in like the uh, design for Cafeteria Cup as a whole. Made this for us. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And the name tags. And um, we don't want to keep you guys for too long, but uh, <laughs> we we got to talk about um, future plans. What what are they? What are they for us? Skipping number two straight up. Yeah. Whoa! Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, but yeah, hopefully we'll start to work on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we don't specifically know if a Cafeteria Cup 2 is happening because these, this whole event kind of happened to fall into place under some very special circumstances. And um, obviously I can't share too much about the next um, time that all the foreign players will be in Japan. But that's going to be a very busy period, and we don't know when the window that we could kind of fit this event in would be. Um, we have... Oh, we can't hear Isaac. Is Watch here? Yeah, Watch is here. Um, Hello? Hello? Yeah, so oh, we can't you. promise the Cafeteria Cup 2 or anything like that, but... But we can promise you, we can the promise American you the people, we will try our goddamn hardest. We will try it. We'll try, well, <laughs> yes! Oh, my fucking... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll promise... <laughs> To the UK, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> UK ain't watching this, bro. No, they are. Where is Bloom Forever? It's, it's the morning. Rise and shine, guys. Rise and shine. Yeah. yeah. Eating their uh, full English breakfast. Oh my god, Zama just repeat a Talir and winners round one. Little do they know. <laughs> my fucking grands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Bro, oh my god. This event's so sick, man. There were so many hype sets. It went so much better than it, like I could have hoped. Like, oh yeah, th yeah. Low key, nothing, I thought it was gonna be like an absolute horrible. Disaster. Happened. Yeah. We were like, th like I, I totally messed up. I fucked up. Like yeah. there were originally gonna be a gauntlet stage, and then I removed it because I was like, I was tweaking. I was like, we don't have enough time, bro. Yeah, tell yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's gonna like miss their last train. Like, low key, we didn't really have enough time either way. So I mean, we could have. Like, yeah, day well, one. Maybe, I don't know. It was so doable because okay. of Solari stream. We just didn't expect the Solari stream to be that goaded. Like they're yeah. professionals, bro. They they oh my really well, not professional. Sorry, the uh, Sikor underscore. Yeah. Shoutouts to Enki. Shoutouts to Sikor. Shoutouts to Lam uh, oh my Lamori. God, Lamori. They're so good at what they do, man. Mm. And this is why French esports is so hype, bro. Yeah. Like, like the amounts of investment that the French community have managed to make into their uh, esports, it's it's so impressive. And yeah. managing to bring so many Japanese, sorry, um, French players into Japan. Uh, for this whole trip with like Amebura and yeah. obviously Kulon Smabato, which is going to be happening this weekend, which you can check out on VGBC. Uh, it's very impressive. 
Oh yeah, Artrix is gonna be. Uh, we're gonna actually have yeah on on site with Artrix really? and watch. Yeah, yeah. They're going. Yeah, they're going. You I haven't heard about know. this? No. Yeah. Oh, good for them. Book your tickets, buddy. You can go with them. Yeah. Um, shout out to Artrix. Yeah, shout out oh, to Artrix. Oh, of course. Yeah, he did a lot of the sketching. Just uh, and destroyed part of Isaac's house. Good job, mate. Yeah, um, it's, it's, yeah I don't care. This is my brother's room. <laughs> Well, Punch in the monitor as soon as the stream ends. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we did it. We've done it. We've, We've actually done, done it. it. Well, yeah. mostly you, but... God damn right. Also, part me, partly me. Partly yeah, me. I'll partly let you me. talk all you want on Twitter, bro. <laughs> all right. Yo. Well, thanks to me. <laughs> and my top player influence uh -huh. uh, did Cafeteria Cup occur. But obviously... Um, the biggest stars of the show, and I don't mean to make it sound too corny, are you guys, everyone that managed to uh, tune into the event at any time was a part of the viewership. Yeah. Anyone that shared the event, because there were so many people that tweeted about it that shared the event, uh, I can only be so, so grateful. Yeah. Shout outs, especially to the people that stay up till 3 a.m. to watch Japanese events. Yeah. Underappreciated crowd. Yeah. Let's go, shout outs. Come, Baru, enjoy her. I see that guy in some up a chat every That's single true. time. That's true. I don't even know anything about this guy. Yeah. But I just see him. It's in people chat. like him. People That's like, like a him, classic bro. example. This is what we do it for. Or like, like obviously, Rose Bloom, like Rose Bloom is yeah. another good example who like manages to kind of clip events, post it on oh Twitter. Oh my God, shout out to Ken uh, Kenneke. Likes for it. I forgot to almost mention it. Kenneke as well. Kenneke, he helped with me a lot with seeding and then just doing the Star GG stuff. And yeah, he was a really big help. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks to each and every single one of you. That's we can only thank so many people so many times. I think we've gone on for maybe a, just a little too long. Yeah, we don't want to bore thanks you. Thanks for the players. With, thanks uh, for the thank staff. You. Thank you, God, and thanks for the gold. Thank Kind you. stranger. Thank you. <laughs> Let's <laughs> get off the mic. <laughs> yeah. That's a good. Thank you, good. Hungry Box. Oh yeah. Thank you, Hungry Box. Let's go. Thank you, Hungry, thank box. You, hungry box for uh, giving us that rain. I love you. That's what we got the two puffs for, exactly. Yeah. Please, hungry bugs, <laughs> watch this. It's all part of the plan, baby. It's kind of weird that we did get two puffs because Sam was going to be on regardless of base match came. So it's like, you know, mm. what a coincidence that uh, two puffs were there, yeah. and they never even played a set. We're gonna uh, get 16 nest players into the next cafeteria cup so the Gax can yep. stream it. So first, there's a 10 Olimar from Kageribi. <laughs> then we're gonna invite Myron, and then we're gonna. Yeah. The yeah okay, we're wrapping this up. Sorry. <laughs> we're dilly dallying it. All right, well. I love you all. I hate you all. Thank you, guys.